Hello, I am King Mac, and I'd like to thank you all for watching this future presentation on YouTube. Be sure to enjoy a hot fresh cheeseburger with some french fries and a nice soft drink. Thank you for watching, and now here is our feature presentation of TT Burger Game Reviews on YouTube. Hello my friends, how are you all doing today? Hope you're all doing well because we are back with more game reviews here on YouTube and I'm your host Tony. We're continuing my Godzilla series review, episode 172, part 2 of 2. Before I get started, I want to give a shout out to Subzero MNX and Free Green HD for King Mac. And I also want to give a shout out to my friend MF217 who's a big ass little fan himself. So, criticals to you all, you guys are awesome, keep up the good work. And today we're going to zoom ahead to the year 2014 and take a look at the Godzilla game on the PlayStation 4. Before we can even get started here, hot and fresh off the grill, ready to be served for a Sunday barbecue once again, is a tasty TT Burger recap to show you all what you missed as I took a look at Godzilla Save the Earth for the PlayStation 2 and gave it an 8.5 out of 10 because it was a great game but it felt kind of short at part and after you see you on lot of game there was pretty much much it. And there were some problems with the opponent AI and stuff like that, but still a fantastic Godzilla game overall and definitely the best Godzilla game I ever played. But now we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna zoom ahead 10 years later to the year 2014 and take a look at Godzilla for the next gen consoles for the time. And we got it right here. This game was first released digitally on a PlayStation 3 and then ported to the PlayStation 4. And they're both released the same the same day and same year. This is Godzilla, also known as Godzilla 2014, released by Bando Namkai Games for the for, for, for the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 on July 14th, 2015. And we're gonna talk about here, so let's get started. Now, when this game first came out, a lot of people hated this game with a passion. The review sites gave it low scores, and all the people were going along with with how they didn't like the game or so, and people just hated this game in general for numerous reasons whatsoever. For me, I really like this game, and I'll show you why it is a fun game why people were too hard on this game in my opinion. I know there are some things that I agree with people on, but overall, this game is fun and worth the money. To start things off, Godzilla 2014 does its best to make you feel like you are in a Godzilla film. Destroying buildings, fighting other kaiju monsters and more, it works well definitely. You have a bunch of modes where you play as Godzilla or other Godzilla monsters or kaiju monsters or so, and the military will try to stop you, but they will always fail like how they do in the movies. And I know like, um, Godzilla is like the less, like, less, like the main monster playing as here and stuff and stuff and such, but, but like still, playing as other monsters are definitely a fun time. Now a lot of people hated this game because they say all your goal is to destroy the generators and fight kaiju along the way. Yes. That is true, you do do that, but there are things you can do in this game. You don't just destroy generators, you can also destroy buildings and cities along the way to get a high score. It feels like people just rush through the main mode, and get it done as fast as they can, call the day, and that's why. There are other things you can do in this game. It has that semi-roam, free-roam sandbox feel to it, by giving you the option to destroy buildings and more. And it is fun to do. Sure, you cannot pick up buildings and such, but you can destroy them and watch them collapse. I mean, I understand Godzilla destroyed buildings, but does he have to pick them up? No, he does not. Would you rather have a good Godzilla game where you do nothing at all and can't destroy anything? Just run around like you're like you're playing track and field? I mean, I wouldn't. I mean, this is fine the way it is. I mean, sure, I would like for Godzilla to pick up the buildings and destroy them and throw them at, at, their, at his opponents like that, but... At least you can attack and, and destroy the buildings so that and attack them with, with your special attacks like your tail whip, your headbutt, or with your atomic breath. It's fun to do, it's still a lot of fun, like a semi-free roam Godzilla game. And when you face off with another monster, the fun gets better. We have a lot to talk about here, so what we'll what to, to get started here. This story is pretty much much like, like, like most Godzilla films. Japan's being invaded by Godzilla once again, and the citizens and the military are freaking out and they want to stop him. And it's cool because you are the giant monster wrecking havoc like what Godzilla does. And that's why I made it feels like, like like a Godzilla film, and a good one at that. The presentation here 
The graphics do not look the best. They feel like a last gen game. I mean, sure, the kaiju models look great, but the environments look dull. Where, yes, when, when like, there's destruction going on, the destruction looks good, but the buildings and everything look kind of dull. I mean, like, just like, like when, when, when you destroy them, they look good, but when, when they're standing there, they just don't look the best. The frame rate is smooth, and like I never noticed any frame rate, rate issues or anything like that. But the graphics are not the best, but still it is just the graphics in my opinion. Sound I gotta say, great sound for the most part, except for one part which I'll get to later. It has great music like like feels like Godzilla music, but it also has the Godzilla theme which I cannot play because of a copyright claim, don't want to get any copyright claims there. It's got the uh, the uh, trademark mark monster sound effect roars for the most part. Some are different, but still most of them are the trademark mark sound effect roars. For the voice acting, though, the English voiceovers are awful. It sounds phoned in and bored, but the Japanese voice acting, much better. Just stick with the Japanese audio, that's all I, I will say. The Japanese voiceovers are much better. The gameplay of Godzilla 2014, it's great, it's fun, but it has its problems, but it's nowhere near as bad as what everyone says it is. For starters, you have some modes of play here where you play as Godzilla or a kaiju monster, destroying or defending cities like that throughout Japan whatever mode you choose. I mainly play as Godzilla because he's the king of the monsters. Like I mentioned before, you go through a stage, destroy generators, you can also destroy buildings, military vehicles, and get some secondary objectives done if you want. And you can destroy most items in each level. You have a boundary to where you can only, you can only be at, but still I do not mind this. I know you do the same thing over and over, but it still has, it has that fun feel to it to be the king of the monsters. The main story mode takes only about an hour to beat, but here's the thing that people did not tell you. You have multiple paths you can choose in this game, where it adds replay value to it. Sure, the same thing happens, but it's cool to keep doing this over and over. You can also collect photo evidence as well, and this is cool, because when you are collecting photo evidence, you can change the camera and it shows the view of a, of a reporter from a helicopter or from a distance, trying try to collect footage for, like, Godzilla to see Godzilla destroying havoc. You can hear him talking through the, through the speaker of your controller, and it sounds realistic for sure. And I like that. It making it making a realistic feel to it, and it's fun to see that. People also complain that the tanks and the military vehicles cannot kill you at all. Well, I understand this because this was like the movies. The military could never take out Godzilla, so I'm okay with this. You have tons of kaiju that you face off with, like King Ghidorah, Mothra, Mechagodzilla, Space Godzilla, Megalon, Rodan, and more and more, and a lot of classic monsters to them. It's a fun game that is way overlooked because a lot of people are just too hard on this game in my opinion. And it's fun, but now the bads. The controls do take some time to get used to because you turn Godzilla with the L1 and R1 shoulder buttons and you pause with the touchpad and there's no control settings to configure this. You be sure you hit that touchpad to pause it. Some people will confuse it with, with the options button. And if you go to the bathroom and, and you're fighting a kaiju monster, he'll whoop you, your ass and stuff like that. Aiming your atomic brick in a difficult time because you have to manually really aim it. The enemy and the kaiju monsters are, are unbalanced. And the game goes for outrageous prices everywhere due to the game not selling very well. And you'll be spending like likely over $130 or more depending on, on if you get new or used. I got my copy on day one for about, about $60, so it was worth the $60 there, but just, just, just to be warned there, some people are not gonna, gonna like having to spend a, a lot of money for this game, but believe me when I say it, it's worth it overall. So final thoughts here is, you, you want some more Godzilla action to feel like you're in a Godzilla film, pick up Godzilla on the PlayStation 4 because it's definitely worth owning your collection for sure. The score to be given is an 8 out of 10 due to the problems I have with it, but Still, it's nowhere near as bad as what the critics and the rev and people are saying this is. It's a fun game, you should definitely pick it up if you can find it. And that's it for my Godzilla series review. I know I there were some games I didn't review, like Godzilla Straw Monsters Melee and Godzilla Unleashed, but I don't own those games, so I, that, so I can't say anything about them. So I'm just saying there, but um... The Straw Monsters Melee is awesome, Godzilla Unleashed sucks, and stuff that I've had to play the 2 version, I don't know about the Wii version, I don't own the Wii version, but that's just me there, but... Definitely pick up, pick up Godzilla Save the Earth and Godzilla 2014. These are both fun games that would own your collection for sure. Which all I gotta say, and if you like what you see here, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below, and join my Discord group, TT Burger Games United, and also join my Facebook group, TT Burger 8 Gamers Group, and also my, my, my Facebook page called TT Burger 8.
because the links are there, so feel free to join if you want to join. But all I gotta say is Tony. Peace and out, have a great day, see you all in episode 173, part 1 of... Whatever, part, whatever, how many, how many, how many I reviews, just find out, but all I gotta say is Tony. Peace and out.